Hi there. Today we're going to be going over the new astro changes that really bring this job up on the tier list for me personally, and this is coming from an old astro main myself until Sage came out, but it might get it back in the running for me. Needless to say, there are more changes that can happen, but this is a step in the right direction. Astro mains, I'd love to hear what you think about these changes. In the new patch of 6.2, we've had small changes that would make a world of difference for Astrologian. The first one is Crown Play has been removed and now Minor Akana will just transform into Lady of Crowns or Lord of Crowns. This was the key change here that now allows Astrologian to have rescue on the cross hotbar for controller players, which is going to make a world of difference for healer mains out there. As rescue can be used in super helpful instances to keep your DPS alive and not waste time having to res. Honestly, this right here would have been good enough in my book, but no, of course, Final Fantasy XIV did not stop there. The second change that they had made was to clarifying draw, which now when used will never draw the same astro sign. This is a change I would never have thought would have such a big impact. Pre-patch 6.2, you draw signs at random and could occasionally, though it felt like every other time, would draw the same sign over and over and rarely be able to get that third astro sign you were looking for. With this change though, essentially you'll have a 50% chance of getting a full set of three, which prior was a 33% chance on that last sign. Now for casual players, this may not have been a huge buff as divination is separate from astro signs as of the Endwalker expansion. But for those who want to min-max their damage, especially Savage or Extreme players alike, now have a better percentage of getting all three signs, which allows them for that 5% damage buff to happen more often during their rotation. Which most Extreme and Savage raiders know that every little piece of damage counts. Even though I'm a casual player and do not do Savage or Extremes, I wholesomely like to devote myself to learning the rotation perfectly and maximizing damage even in regular play as most others do once they get to endgame. This really allows Astrologian to shine on the same tier as Sage for me personally. Now, of course, there can be more improvements that goes without saying, but I really feel it puts Astro back on the map for healing and for a lot of other players. Felt so busy to get the same amount of healing out and had a lot of timers and OGCDs to track. This led to the more devote players who really like a challenge when learning a job. Though I will say once you learn how to play Astro, all jobs kind of pale in comparison and it really keeps you focused and hands on which attract a certain type of people. Let me know what you think of the Astro changes and if you'll be picking it back up. I myself might dip back into now that I know I can rescue those goofy DPS who want to take punches to the face most of the fights and with the thought of getting three Astro signs more often it seems really enticing. I hope you all have a great patch day and if you want more Final Fantasy guides and tutorials then you can click here.